Uh, I knew we were going to have to move it a couple different times, but now that it's up there, I think we can use the stabilizers that are on the crane itself and the crane boom to help balance itself and just back the truck further underneath it. So that's going to be the game plan. We'll see how it works once we get this thing running. <laughs> Almost forgot that was left-handed thread there for a minute. Well, that was embarrassing. I just didn't have the throttle settings right. I adjusted the wiring to try to include the charging circuit at the ignition switch because the ignition switch is missing a hot leg for that charging circuit. And I thought I messed something up. So I undid that, still nothing. Went over and adjusted the throttle position. Away she goes. There we go.
Well, we got the oil tank out of there with the old hydraulic pump. Now, I'm not gonna lie to you, that raised the pucker factor really high. Uh, shouldn't be doing this when it's just sitting on here with chains, but here we are and we did it. Don't do that at home, that was dumb. So what we need to do here is position this crane. If you didn't notice already, the stabilizers on this are upside down. Uh, that's for transport. We need to get those flipped around the right way so that they actually provide some support back to the ground so you don't risk tipping the truck over or having a catastrophic event. Uh, we got the boom raised around here. We got it buried into the ground. I'm gonna start taking these bolts off of these stabilizers here and see if we just can't pivot it around manually. If we can't, we might have to tuck the crane back in and maybe either use the crane itself or use a strap around the crane and use it to help lower these things down. Here we go. Don't do this at home, it's dumb. Yeah. Ugh. Well. Coming pretty obvious here if I don't put these on with some nuts, it's gonna fall down and smack me in the melon. Would not be good. Ugh. Trying to avoid here is trying to avoid having to disconnect these hoses. I don't know if it's going to let us do that or not, but that's the theory anyways. Well, that didn't turn out as I planned. Okay, come on, baby. That's harder than it looked. I don't know what you got. Ooh. Uh, might have to strap the other side. All right, one down. Now we just gotta get the other side. I have not had this old girl running in probably, I don't know, a couple weeks. Now we need to move it so we can try to get it away from some other stuff in the driveway here and position it such that we can back it under it. See if she'll fire up for us. Oh yeah, like a champ. Like we just started it this morning. It's awesome. You guys are probably wondering why I chose the torches to remove that hydraulic tank and those extra pieces that were scabbed onto the frame. You could have easily hot sawed those off with an abrasive saw, uh, but I really don't like the abrasive saw all that much. It has its place. And also, I wanted to try out my new set of torches. 
A skilled operator can take a cutting torch and remove something that's welded to the base material without digging in and without damaging the base material. I am far from a skilled operator, but this was good practice. So we cut off the tank here, cut off the tank here. That was a bracket that was all bent out. Now on this, we did gouge in just a little bit here. That was a boo-boo, shouldn't have done that. Got a little excited. Then we just have some raised material here. This one, <laughs> nothing. There's no cuts inside the base material here. And we have just a little bit of weld we need to clean off there. Here, obviously that's easy. The other side, um, looks like we just got just a little bit right there that we dug in. This one, not much of any damage there. So that's why we went the torch route. Uh, right now we're gonna take the flap disc and just clean all this up so there's no raised edges and we should be good to go.
<laughs> oh yeah, the crane has moved forward. We didn't smash any appendages in the process, smash anything on the crane or the truck or tip it over in the process. I'm not gonna lie, I was a little worried. If I were you, I wouldn't try this at home. It's definitely not the smart way to do this. But now we are one step closer to having a functional crane and that is just awesome. This is gonna put us way ahead and be a huge advantage over how we used to have to lift things previously. We can just hook it on the crane. I'm super excited. If you uh, like this video, don't forget to give me a thumbs up, leave your questions and comments in that section below, and don't forget to punch that subscribe button your way out. Thanks for watching everyone.